Hello YouTube, welcome back. So it's been, it's been a while. You know, my first review was 170 hours. Did I waste my time on TFD? Now I have over 360 hours, doubling up what I initially had, if the math checks out. And here is a re-up or I guess checking in. Uh, see if my opinion has changed initially on the first video linked over here somewhere on the description I had 170 hours and my initial review impression was really good with a 7.5 thinking the game can definitely improve in some areas and it's been a quite a bit uh, now since then and we've gotten patches and we have a, a new patch coming out very soon and I think it's time to kind of talk a little bit more about it and see if I dropped my score or is if it's improved skipping everything and going straight to the score i think my opinion has changed for the better i think going from a 7.5 to an 8 now the game has done a lot of improvements since its launch with optimization to make it um render people's um game better with the shaders being rendered worse better i don't know people have complained about the uh, optimization being worse but i think overall they're looking into how to improve the game just uh, in general and we have received a lot of quality of life patches with introduction to more shards more grindy stuff reducing the time to some for some outposts which is a w really good changes to the game the developers are super vocal on what they intend to pl um, put in the game and fix so that to me is what made the 7.5 into an 8 the developers have been very transparent, very vocal on what they plan to introduce to the game and what improvements, nerfing, balancing, adjusting, buffing. It is really, really, really good when you have a developer that is so attentive and they're putting out patches. I don't think there has been a single week since launch and maybe I missed one um, that they haven't put out a hot fix, a patch. And not because the game is broken, because there's bugs, because honestly, truly honestly the game didn't release with a whole bunch of bugs there are a couple of here there but like for a, a release of this magnitude bugs are not that existent like i don't know in 2024 you have a lot of games that are released with a super uh, a large amount of bugs and some unplayable but this game i don't know may maybe i missed it at some point but i don't think they had like game breaking bugs it's been pretty smooth adjusting to some change uh, uh balancing to the game is really always welcomed so for me a 7.5 turned into an 8 because how attentive or or how attentive nexon is um over the game i still have my issues with the game that is stopping me from putting it into a 9 or a 10 even i don't think any game would ever get to a 10 personally but um yeah, so let's talk about a, a couple of things that I has been happening. So I have 360 hours plus of the game and I have not slowed down. In fact, I think from my 170 hour to 360 hour review, I put in more time. So I've been grinding more. I want to min max more. I want to grind the specific stuff that I want. I have grinded all the de ultimate descendants and really have had no issue with it. I understand that my time is um, probably more, I, I probably have more time than the average player to enjoy this game. So I understand that my perspective of the game is extremely um, skewed because I do have more time. This is my job. So I do have more time to grind out things than the average player. Could the drop rates and um, um, the, stuff change so the casual more um you know stay at um, home or a hard working father comes home from like a nine to five and only has one hour uh, game time could that improve for that person absolutely um and other areas in the game maybe not just the drop rates but adding uh, another way to get rid of excessive parts in the game um which brings me up to trading um i don't think that the game is at a place um where trading would be good for it i think in fact adding trading to the game might be a bad thing right now considering we don't have a bunch of content and stuff but there would there should be a way we can trade some of our excessive materials that we don't want 
um, for something. Uh, yesterday I had like a little thought. Maybe if you've grinded a certain something, you got yourself five ultimate Lepics. If you could trade five ultimate Lepic codes for one ultimate Ajax code, something like that. Um, obviously, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but something that can let us use our old materials that we don't want and implement them in the game would be great um trading i don't think it's at a point we we're at a point in the game where trading is viable in my opinion um i know a lot of people would disagree with that um but i don't think so i think in fact um the game might run out of content if there is really nothing to grind for anymore because trading just become, makes things a little bit too easy um, for some people, myself included. If trading was in the game, I don't know, I'd feel weird about it, but I don't want to get into that whole deba debacle. Mastery rank. The mastery rewar reward rewards suck. They could improve on that. Some of the rewards that they give you, they can add some, uh, um, some cosmetics or something, but the mastery rank above 15 is just it's just dumb they could even add some things for the free to play player like a one descendant slot every five mastery ranks or something but mastery rank is kind of booty butt cheeks after level 15 where you can craft every weapon in the game it just becomes meh. it's so unimportant it's so bad um maybe unlocking a universal socket um module um, when you reach rank, rank 25 or something, I don't know. Monetization could definitely be improved um, for sure. Monetization in the game could definitely be improved. Um, waiting 36 hours and then charging you an arm and a leg to decrease that time is very predatory, it's very scummy. And before people say, oh my God, but Warframe has this system and this system, I don't care what that game did. It doesn't make it a perfect system. That system, is AIDS in general. That system is AIDS. I don't care if this company's done it better, if this company's done it better, this company's charging you less. That system is dumb. It's so expensive and it's obviously put in, in there so they can FOMO you so you can pay to play your favorite descendants. To uh, uh, You've been grinding hours and hours and hours, three days to get your favorite descendant and then you have to cook them. That takes maybe a week that I, I don't find that mechanic uh, fun they could definitely do something to improve this in this field in this area and maybe my rank will go from an 8 to an 8.5 once they fix a couple of these things um last but not least let's talk about while, while we're on this monetization subject let's talk about the people who complain about the monetization too though okay i have been reading a bunch of comments in my comment section of my YouTube video or in my Twitch chat where people are complaining about having to buy a descendant slot because the game gives you 10 descendant slots to unlock for free. And people's like, I don't like how I can only level up 10, only level up 10 descendants. And then I have to pay 50 caliber, which is equal to about a dollar in most areas, right? About a dollar. And I sit there and kind of like scratch my nuts thinking, are you really complaining about paying a dollar in a game that is given to you for free? Like, is this what is we're complaining about? You can complain about the time and how much it costs to fast forward a descendant to get it, because that is expensive and that is bad. But complaining about a free game that is charging you a dollar for an extra slot? Now y'all come on now. Come on now, beggars can't be choosers. You get entertained and in most cases, you're paying a lot of money for it to be entertained by pretty much any entertainment avenue you pay for entertainment and getting a free game and then sitting there and rubbing your greasy fingers all over your keyboard that a free game that is given to you is charging you f a, a dollar for a descendant slot i don't want to sound ungrateful or weird or anything but uh, come on there's are people that are working behind the scenes on the game that you are playing like are like imagine if they just gave everything out for free like how do these people like eat or get by i know this is a multi-million dollar company but i mean come on let's be realistic here i think there are certain things that people can and have the absolute right to bitch about but then there are things that people are just really weird to bitch about you know there's a difference there the uh, bitching about the time and the predatory fomo that they grasp your uh, their hands around your neck to swipe that's bad but then the descendants going out for one dollar 
and you still have the nerve to type your negative comment everywhere you go because you're being charged a dollar for a descendant slot i'm just saying there are there is a room and there's fair complaints but to me that's a little bit unfair but anyways chat i think i bumped up my rating for this game to a solid eight and i'm really looking forward to the new content that they're coming out with they have already promised ultimate volby new descendant luna new um boss fights new ultimate weapon and the first season of the game comes out in uh, late august with a new ultimate descendant and new um season dungeon or something something very interesting i'm very very happy about the roadmap it looks like they got something going on every 25 days or so so i'm, I'm super excited i'm stoked um i'll see you guys in the first descendant don't forget to comment like and subscribe hey you might be new around here huh well hold your horses before you click off this video make sure you comment like and subscribe as it does help me grow as a streamer now do yourself a favor and do it mister